to drop the puck. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Let's go. The official's made his way to center ice, and we are ready to get things underway. And this one is officially underway with the puck dropped. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. New York's looking to break out of their own end. Off a stick, and they can't connect. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. The Oilers take it along the wall. That goes off a twig. Turned aside with a glove by Shusterkin. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. Sabinajans won a big draw on their own end. Here's a short pass to Hyman. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Rangers are off to the box. Interference the call. The Oilers will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. James, as soon as the referee put his arm in the air, I thought the power play guys were going to fly out onto the ice. They can't get out there quick enough. They're the best in the league, and this is their first chance tonight. Takes it at center. Great reach with the poke check. Edmonton's got the puck. And now he angles it across to Pugliarvi. Take it along the wall by Turris. Puck grab by Yamamoto. Denies him, he got all of it. New York's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Time running out on this power play. They've got one last chance here. Here comes the pushback. Nemeth ready to go. Apparently the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. McDavid's won the draw here in the offensive zone. The Rangers' PK unit delivers in a big way. Pretty hard to have a more low-intensity power play than that. They really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate much, you're sure not going to score. His reflexes on display tonight. Now a quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. Oh, boy, here's trouble. Two on one. And they can't convert to the play. Well, that'll get a response. Bouchard's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. Can't get it to go. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still scoreless in this one. The Oilers win the draw here in the neutral zone. And, oh, getting a little cheeky there. Lindgren's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Slides it across to Hedo. Shuts him down. The Oilers gain possession. And now he passes up to Ryan. Here's a chance out front. Quick pass to Fogel. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. New York's got a hold of the puck. And that banks off a stick. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it to Fogel. The Oilers play it along the boards. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Sends a pass over. Nice zone entry from the middle. And he takes a shot, and he comes up with it. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Past the midway mark in this period. Still no score in this one. The Rangers win it. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Quick feed to Keith. From the left side, they gain the zone. Just wide. The Rangers gain control of the puck against the wall. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And he connects with the long bomb. 
And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Keith. Oh, and he misfires on that. Let's it go. Oh, and I think that goes off the mask, and it stays out, and play continues. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Poked away at center by Kako. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. And that's knocked away by Nugent Hopkins. No room on the play. Yeah, shot right down. Defended well. Tries the move. There's nowhere to go. Edmonton's on the attack. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Play develops. It's a two-on-one. Puck moved over to Hyman. And no luck on that pass attempt. Scooped up along the wall by Rooney. Moves it ahead from off the wall. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. So late in the period, you're looking forward to the intermission. Now you got to scramble to get there. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. New York's won the draw, no go to work. Couldn't complete the play. Passes right to the front, and they can't connect. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. There's the horn, still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. James Sobalski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Period number two is about to go. The Rangers start the period off on the right note, winning the draw, and their man advantage unit gets going. Handles the pass at center. Grabs control of it at the point. Trying to gain a step. Flips it across. The Rangers gain control of the puck. Puck scooped up by Strong. Nice zone entry on the left side. Grabbed along the boards by Nugent Hopkins. And he makes the save. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Scooped up along the wall by Bouchard. And there's the save. The Rangers have it now. Hyman's up at the box. The Rangers fail to capitalize on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. We are still tied. That power play was a lot of window dressing. They had the puck in the offensive zone, but really didn't generate a whole lot. The penalty killers must be pretty happy with that. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. Taken by Miller. And that goes wide. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Smith. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Trying to get back on the attack now. Penalty coming up here. The Oilers have been handed two for interference. New York's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They're leaving one of their main weapons in the toolbox so far on the power play. Get it back to the point. Let them shoot it. Edmonton's across the blue line. No room for that one to get through. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Hedo. Pushes it across to Fox. He grabs the puck here at the point. He tries to tuck it in. Picked up along the boards by the Frenier. Unloads one. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Puck cleared from the defensive end. From their own end, time winding down here on this power play. They got to get something going here. Yeah, you got to get into the zone first, James. Get it set up, start moving the puck around. But they've got to get into the zone quickly. Made the stop on that play. And that's intercepted by Bouchard. And that's stolen, and they'll go on the attack. Glove saved by the goalie. Smith's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. 
Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Still looking for our first goal. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Puck picked up by Nurse. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Lindgren's gaining momentum. Play blown dead, let's get the call. I hated that, James. As soon as you make this play, you know your next stop is into the penalty box. New York's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Best part about being on the power play, no matter how good or bad it is, you get another chance, out you go, and you've got a chance to make it better. Couldn't complete the pass. Shesterkin's lugging the puck. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Nugent Hopkins hoping for some puck luck here on this faceoff as they continue to play shorthanded. Offense his own faceoff and he wins the draw. Oh, that's using the body there on the block. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Shot! Tremendous stop by Smith. They work the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Moves into the slot. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. The Rangers going to work on offense. And that's picked off. And now it's over to Nugent Hopkins. Penalty expires. You really have to admire the effort of the penalty killing unit on that one as both teams are back to even strength. Hey, I think I killed two penalties in my life. Looked to me like the penalty killers did a good job there. They didn't really give up anything. New York's got it in their own zone. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. A little bit of a careless play with the stick, and the trippy call is made. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. Power plays are going to go up and down. You're going to be successful some nights and others not so much. This is a great opportunity for them right now. The power play is here, and they've got to capitalize. Fox has got it behind the net. Oh, and it stays out with the toe save. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. New York's got it in the offensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. New York's looking to break out. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Penalty killers are the only ones really staying in touch with this game. They've been on the ice this period, it seems like, the whole time. Sabinejad's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Denies him! Yeah, I hate it when I miss chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. New York's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. And that pass goes off a stick. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. And now he moves it to Kako. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Here comes the officials' call. The frustration is just seeping through this team now as they take yet another penalty. The Rangers send their men advantage unit out once more. Patience is good on the five on three, but you can't pass it around looking for the perfect shot and never actually shoot it. He was left in there. Smith's play has been outstanding tonight. From the time the puck hit the ice, he's been locked in. Great save percentage, and he's a reason they're close in this game. Heedle's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Looking to clear the defensive zone. Pugliarvi's penalty has expired, but they remain short-handed, and he joins the kill. Misses! Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. Keith's got the puck in his own zone. Slides it to Pugliarvi. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Edmonton's got the puck short-handed. The Oilers played along the wing. The Rangers have it from their own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Hedo. Penalty has expired. Both sides back to even strength. Slowly they start to take the move. He's got a little jump. He's in the clear. Punched it away at his own end. Tries to get the puck to Barry. 
Nothing doing on that. And now he moves it quickly to Ryan. And they cough it up at center. Center down in front. Quick stop by Smith. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. Let's see what the officials are calling. You want that clock to wind down and now you've taken a penalty. Your killers have to do the job for you. Ryan's won it off the faceoff. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Ferro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's do this. The Rangers win the draw as this period is underway and their power play goes back to work. Great defensive play at center by Hyman. Slides it diagonally to Panarin. And he's able to handle that one. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Ryan's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. And that pass attempt is deflected. Taken along the wall by Panarin. Rips it from the blue line. Scores on the man advantage. They took advantage of the extra time available with a manpower advantage, and they're on the board. Really good tip here. He got himself into position so he could deflect it, and it ends up in the net. New York's dominated puck possession. Now they finally actually have a lead. Got something to show for it. After a while, you can only hear so often from the coaches that you're playing well. You want some results. They've got them now. That's using the body on the block. Slides the puck to control. New York's on the attack. And that one's broken up. Flies it over to McDavid. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Let's it go from the slot. And there's another stop. Doesn't lose his focus as he makes a couple of quick ones in a row. Lots of time left in this period. The Rangers lead it 1-0. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Breakaway. Oh, and that's broken up. What a great effort. Man, that's never say die right there. He's beaten, and he knows he is. But he's got to get back into that play somehow. It's all effort to break that one up. The setters will glide into the dot. The Rangers win it. And now it's grabbed by Lindgren. And he's going after him here. Nugent Hopkins is roaming around looking for somebody else to fight. He just can't find it. Picked up along the wall by Lindgren. Edmonton's got possession here in the neutral zone. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Keith. Puck grab by Strom. He let that one oh, go boy. after the whistle. Nugent Hopkins is trying to drop the mitts here. He just can't get anyone to fight him. I could hear the ref yelling, enough, enough, but apparently for these two players, it wasn't. Now they'll go serve a minor. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall, and he easily stops that one. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face off. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, 1 0 is where we sit at this point. Puck scooped up by Bouchard. Can't get it to go. And there's the whistle icing the call. New York's got a hold of the puck. And he got right over top of that one. That's a big face-off win for him. 
tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Quick pass across to Pugliarvi. Turns it over. And the intensity starting to ramp up here after that hit. Can't connect! And now he tries to get it across to Miller. Denied by the defender. Gets the puck over to Nurse. Here's a short pass to Lafreniere. Picked up along the wall by Hito. And that shot dies in traffic. Gains the zone through the middle. To his teammate! And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. Not able to connect. Nice pass. Sends it across. And that one's broken up. Dreisaitl's got it in the defensive end. On the attack along the boards. Taken along the wall by Dreisaitl. And a great save. And that's knocked away by Kreider. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Sends the pass over. Scooped up along the wall by Cassian. Moves the puck across to Hito. He's got a step. Oh, great little, great save. Oh, I thought he was gonna beat him, but the goalie comes up more. Quick pass to Kako. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Knocked away. Manages to hang on. Drives it to the crease. Broken up by Cassian. Looks to get the puck over to Ryan. Here's the shot. Steps up with the block. New York's got it from behind the net. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Hits in front and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Even though they're leading by one, it's not a very good feeling. You got a chance like that, and you know you can pretty well salt this away. Right off the side of the net. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. For this period, 1-0 the score. Coming up on the final minute of regulation time. Grabbed along the board by Reeves. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Barry stick handling in his own zone. Puts it to the front of the net. Nice save from point blank range. That's an important stop for the goalie. Not only does he make the save, but because he catches it, he kills the play. Extra attacker at one end, but an empty net at the other as his face-off looms. Yeah, you draw the play up, you look for the face-off win for a quick shot. Gets his stick on it. Fantastic save! And the puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. Whoa. A shot at the empty net! Pretty much all she wrote, I would say. Well, you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game, and they pull the goalie, they're gonna pressure you. You put it away with an easy one into the empty net. Here they come on the attack. On the doorstep, and that one's broken up. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Both centers ready to take the draw here, coming up. Dreisaitl's won it in their own end. Slides the puck over. Read perfectly with the stick at center by Kako. Taken by Keith. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. The Rangers have it behind the net. Smith's gonna hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. Edmonton's got it in the defensive zone. Can't get a hold of that pass. And there it is, the final horn. They say behind every good coach is a good goaltender. Coach has got to be feeling good about that performance. Yeah, you'll never see any coach in the Hall of Fame with a brutal goalie. It just would <laughs> never happen.